choice boards are really great to use in the classroom. They give you a lot of options. They are able to challenge the students who are more advanced while you being able to pull students that need assistance. I mean, at the same time, you're not stopping when a student says, I'm done with this, what do you want me to do next? It's all laid out for them. So a voice and choice board is made in Google Forms. I always ask the same first two questions, what's your name and then what block do you have mapped? Because I teach secondary, it makes it easier to streamline it. I'm gonna add a section. Oh, so see this added it. I forgot to click on the question. So I'm going to merge with above, click on this question, and then add a section. Okay, so this might be my warm up question. So I'm going to make this a pretty easy question. Leave it as multiple choice. So I'm going to give them some answer choices. So from here, I need to add two sections, one for when they're right and one for when they're wrong. So if they're wrong, I'm going to title it this, and for now I'm going to change this just to say right. So I'm going to go back to this question, and I'm going to click go to section based on answer. So my right people, I want to send them here, the wrong people, send them all to the wrong section. Okay. So in the wrong section, I'm not going to leave it named wrong. So I'm going to change it to say, okay, so something like, let's try that again. Um, and then I'm going to use text to enter some directions. Okay, so a lot of times I will insert a video link here. Have the students watch it and then I'll give them another question. And require so multiple choice. So and so because I am doing um, another question, I want to go to section by answer. I need to add more sections. But before I do that, I want to change this to voice in choice board okay, that way when I go up here and I add two sections I can call this right I can call this wrong okay so what you might want to notice is voice and choice board move to number six so up on this one You see how it changed to voice and choice board changed to section six, even though it was originally section four, it's still linked to the right one. Okay, so we could change it to go to section by answer. So all my wrong are gonna be sent to the wrong. And then my right gets sent to the voice and choice board. Okay. So if you want them to do another question to make sure they really understand, you could put that here. So am I wrong? I'm going to change this to keep your table or Zoom room or however you want to say it since we're virtual right now. So your directions would be come you can make it longer. Um, or say, hey, I see you're struggling. Please come see me to get some help. So then when you add a question, you're going to say, what is the teacher code? So this ensures that they could come see you. I'm going to make it short answer, required, and then you're going to make it a response validation. So a regular expression, you want it to match your saying. So you pick what it is, and you don't want it to be something simple like password or teacher code. You want to make it something more complicated like... I love math or you mix it up don't keep it the same so then you could say come see the teacher or you could put a different message there when the kids get here they're gonna have to come see you to get help so then for the voice and choice board you're gonna add a question and say so you're gonna give them as many options as you want so I might do a color by number, 
to worksheet. And maybe there's um, an Excel or an online game. So when I create these three things, I need to create three sections. Okay, so my first one was color by number, so this first one will call color by number. Next one was a worksheet. My third one was IXL. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to link all these by clicking on the three dots. Go to section by answer. Color by number. Worksheet. IXL. So down here, I would put my directions, and I would do that in each section. So if you need them to go to a website, or you need them to get a piece of paper off a table in your room, this would be good for. Okay, so once I have directions, and I'm going to give each of them a question. So what would you like to do? Another activity from the choice board or a challenge activity? And I'm going to put that under every single one. This is where um, if you have those advanced really fast students, you could have them do more than one of these. And then if you have students that need assistance or you need to pull them for a small group, you know, they might only get through one of these which is fine. Always make these required. Okay, so last time, so, okay, so now that I have these, I'm going to Add a section, I'm going to call it challenge activity. I need to go back up here and I need to link all these. So if they want to do another activity from the choice board, I need them to go back to the choice board. If they want to do the challenge activity, I want to go to challenge. So same thing on these, I gotta link them. Voice and choice board. Challenge activity. Okay, so then um, the challenge activity. I like to make escape rooms for their challenge activity. Sometimes I like to use quizzes. Um, the main thing that I like to do when I'm done with the challenge activity is like to ask them. Well, Sorry, you should insert directions first. So you'll give them directions for how they should do it. And then I like to ask them, how do you feel? I like to know how they feel about their understanding of the material. Make this required. And then when they submit it, then you'll get this information from them. Um, so your advanced kids may have done one to three assignments and then the challenge activity. Um, they may do one assignment, then the challenge activity. But it kind of takes away from you having to stop helping a student to get a student that's done quickly another assignment. It's all right here. You can just say, go do another activity from the choice board. I mean, the students feel like they have a lot of say in this because they're picking what they're doing. So once you have this choice board made, um, you can click send. And then I like to use the link, shorten the URL, and I just copy this and paste it in our learning platform.